King we had earlier, Margaret Court and Rosie Casals going against each other for the women's title. Yes, we did, and in the first set, Margaret took a commanding lead and eventually ran out the set at 6-2. We had a turn of the tide in the second set with Rosie Casals coming back and giving her an answer of another 6-2 set. So we're right into a third set, and we don't know what's going to happen. I think we're going to see Margaret trying a lot more lobs against Rosie. Well, Margaret Court going for that grand slam. We're going to show you the tape now going into the third set. It will be the fourth game. Margaret Court leading two games to one, and the server is Rosie Casals. Yeah, Rosie has to hold serve here. She got her first serve in that time. Or else Margaret will run her right out of the place. Just wide on that forehand volley by Rosie. That was a nice return by Margaret. It's low. Margaret thought Margaret it was a fault. doesn't care for that call at all by Gus Lana on the service line. She said he didn't play the ball. That's what she was just saying there. And she said, you must be joking before that. There's Anita Shuko who's on the baseline. The call was made by the service linesman, Gus Lana. First two. Rosie's trying to make that volley just a little too good. Ball. Now Gus is applauded for throwing ball. A round of sarcastic applause. There goes another lob. Good high backhand ball by Rosie Casals. Margaret hit a little bit short on that lob. She didn't mean it to go that short. Rosie serve, 43. Beautiful first serve. Good for that volley. Margaret leading 3-1 in the final set. So Rosie noses into the set now. She has a game. She'll be looking for a break if she can. Get it. Out of Margaret's Margaret reach. That's called a passing shot. Right on the baseline. Margaret's got those long arms. Beautiful point. Perfect example of why Margaret Court is number one in the world. She stayed in the point. I'd say this is about the most crucial point of the entire match right now. Lobbing. Just in the corner. Great backhand by Margaret Court. She ran back there, went for the short cross court, and made it. What a shot. Great tennis by both. Final set here.
Here you see that long point, Margaret serving a slice serve to Rosie's forehand. Rosie tops it back to Margaret's forehand, trying to keep her back on the baseline, and Margaret's going to try to do the same to Rosie. Here you see a beautiful deep forehand drive. Another one by Rosie. Another one by Margaret. See, they try to keep each other way back so they can't get to net. And here's a short forehand by Rosie. Margaret hits a slice forehand approach. It was a little bit short, so Rosie decided to lob. Margaret's going back. It's just in. The wind brought it in. Margaret goes for that beautiful short cross-court backhand out of Rosie's reach. What a point. Here comes Margaret. Well, I think you'd call it on that crucial point, Billy Jean, the 30-15 point, Margaret made that wonderful backhand to keep going to 4-1. Margaret gets to another one, just out. See, against someone else, no one would even probably reach that shot, mm. and that's where her height helps her so much. Skinner on the line. Fourth double fall for Rosie. 15 Rosie's not really getting the ball out in front enough on her toss. It's a little bit behind her head, and that's why she's hitting it too deep. That was better. There comes another lob. Rosie's smash just hit the top of the 15, tape. 30. Margaret's doing just what I thought she'd do. <laughs> Lobbing, keeping Rosie away from the net. Ooh, oh. bad toss. Now this is a real big point. 15, 30 point against her. Oh, oh she boy. Double faults, fifth time. But she keeps throwing that toss behind her head. Just too much. She's gotta get the ball more out in front so she can lean into it. Now, Rosie right here must stop sliding or Margaret will be serving for the slam in the next game. Break point. Good point. Just out. 30, 40. Another break point. There goes another lob. There it is. Beautiful lob by Margaret Court. To give her a 5-1 lead here, the U.S. Nationals, the Westside Tennis Club. This is Court leads five games to one. Five one, and this is the game that Margaret Court has worked to arrive at since she won the Australian Nationals in January. She's three points away from the second Grand Slam in women's tennis history. The other one, 17 years ago, the late Maureen Conley. Short. There's another lob. Margaret's waited for this day probably since she started the game of tennis. I think she was probably 10 or 11. Malbury, Australia. Well, here we go. This is it. Match point to give Margaret a grand slam. Also a chance to win the triple crown here. She's still in all three events. She's won the women's doubles. Here we go. Rosie Casals, Margaret wins $7,500, the biggest prize in women's tennis.